Have you ever seen those paintings from hundreds of years ago with the UFO clearly depicted in the background? There's a few. Throughout history, humanity has looked to the sky and wondered about the possibilities. But every now and then, something unusual is detected. In a very elliptical high polar orbit, there's been a satellite circling the Earth for 13,000 years. Detected by Nikola Tesla in 1899, he discovered an electrical signal that appeared intelligent in origin. The signal was repeated periodically with such clear suggestion of number and order that Tesla believed he was receiving communication signals from Mars. He later changed his opinion at a conference, but stressed that the signal was coming from somewhere in space and must be investigated. Again in the 1920s, ham radio operators began getting excited about strange coded messages, which were recorded and deciphered. The message they were receiving was of a star chart centered on the Epsilon Booth star system. Four years before the launch of Sputnik 1, 1953, the Black Knight satellite was spotted by Dr. Lincoln La Paz of the University of New Mexico. Even the Department of Defense showed extreme interest in the Black Knight satellite, and apparently even appointed astronomer Clyde W. Tomba to run a search for the object. In 1957, the Black Knight satellite was once again in the headlines after Dr. Luis Corrales of the Communications Ministry in Venezuela photographed it while taking pictures of Sputnik 2 as it passed over Caracas. But unlike Sputnik 1 and 2, this mysterious satellite orbited from east to west. The Russian and American satellite at the time moved west to east, thereby using Earth's natural rotation to stay in orbit speed. Back then, our technology wasn't that advanced, so it was impossible to keep a satellite in that kind of orbit. Four years after the launch of Sputnik, a mysterious object was seen shadowing the Sputnik 1. The object was in polar orbit, but at the time, neither the Americans nor the Russians had the technology or ability to maintain a satellite in polar orbit. So if it wasn't the United States and the Russians, who placed it there? In 1960, the Black Knight was again in the media, as researchers spotted the mysterious satellite again in polar orbit. The weight of the Black Knight satellite was calculated, and researchers estimated that the object weighed over 15 tons. Again, neither the Americans or Russians had the technology to send a satellite that heavy into space. Research shows that the Black Knight moved twice as fast as any other man-made object in orbit. Robert L. Johnson, director of the Adler Planetarium, stated that the Black Knight was very unpredictable and that it didn't keep a regular schedule. It would appear sometimes, and sometimes it didn't. It was very unpredictable, and it's very difficult to actually see it in the sky. The Black Knight satellite was even photographed by the Grumman Aircraft Corporation. The military seemed very interested in the Black Knight satellite back then, to the point that they even created a special committee to gather information and offer further insight on the strange orbital object. In the 1970s, something new was discovered about the Black Knight satellite, and it was thanks to Duncan Lunan, a scientist from Scotland that was able to decipher the message that was being broadcasted by this mysterious object. Duncan plotted a vertical axis of the transmitted pulse sequence with a horizontal axis of echo delay time, and as a result he found a picture of the Epsilon Booth star system, or better said, as it would look 13,000 years ago. According to Duncan, a message accompanied the star map about where it was from and that it was orbiting the Earth, but not why it was here or why it was sent. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence about the Black Knight's existence was when a meteor entered Earth's atmosphere over Chelyabinsk in 2013. Captured on camera was the moment that the object appeared to approach the meteor, scan it, and destroy it in the sky. The meteor then disintegrated. What do you guys think of the Black Knight's existence? Thanks for watching, and remember, the ways at which we arrive at knowledge are hardly less wonderful than the discovery of these things themselves.